okay now let us talk about these figures that i see on the internet about missing children no i was quite surprised because um i'm looking at it and i'm like australia canada germany india and then jamaica i'm like why is it that a tiny caribbean island would be among these giants when it comes down to missing children now people i'm here to ask critical questions and connect the dots because Jamaica don't have a land border. It is an island. So if you're going to leave, you're either going to take the plane or you're going to take a ship. Now, how comes the Jamaican Authority cannot account for 1,984 children? Where did they go? Right? Use critical thinking and ask questions because... Let me address the elephant in the room that many of you don't seem to get it, right? We wrestle not with flesh and blood. Your very Bible tells you that, right? This earth is not run by humans. It is run by non-human entities along with their human bloodline and the rest of humans that they pay money to go and do their bidding let me repeat it this world is not run by humans it is run by non-human entities along with their human bloodline they therefore have humans that they pay money to to do their bidding and that is one of the main reasons that money is a contaminated and very cursed entity and i will be doing a, a program on it and bringing proof and receipt to show you that the more money you have the more cursed you are likely to be because money is a cursed entity and we should not live our life to gather money to keep it to store it in banks money is a cursed entity and it is used by these non-human entities that govern the planet. It is used to entice humans. It is used to entice their bloodlines as well. Right? Now, back to the missing children. Why is it that a tiny island of Jamaica is on the list, a world list, that is showing countries like Australia, Canada, Germany, India, united kingdom the united states their missing children in the u.s is absolutely staggering right and there is a mighty good reason for that because these non-human entities they feed on the energies of children right many of you cannot get that through your heads children and young people are going missing right and they are being used for blood sacrifice some are used for breeding purposes others are used for their organs right now get that in your head and understand the enemy that you are facing that is the enemy that we're facing and our children are the ones that are most at risk as a jamaican people need to understand that the enemy walks amongst them right they need to understand that of all the countries right that have surveyed their court of arms i haven't i don't think i've seen all of them but i've seen quite a few of them i've not seen any country with a reptilian on their court of arms but the jamaican national emblem got a reptilian right at the top you can go and look that up for yourself right so jamaica is in the midst of this spiritual warfare and they don't even know it no let's get into the reason why right and a lot of you need to understand that the 144,000 that your very own bible tells you about the 144,000 is on earth 
Now, some religion will let you know that they die and they go to heaven and give you a romantic story about who the 144,000 is. But I got connections, very high connections in the spiritual world. And I'm going to tell you the details that they're allowed to tell. Right? Now, the 144,000 are chosen based on bloodline. It's not your color, it's not your money, it's not your religion. You are chosen directly by the Most High, right? And it is chosen by bloodline. Now, those individuals who will be chosen because they are here on earth, walking around ordinarily, and many of them do not know what lies ahead the only ones who suspect anything are the ones who are born to parents who were high priests right or who are still high priests because just in case you don't know we are all reincarnated spirits right some of us are from ancient egypt some of us are from ancient babylon greece rome whatever right and that is one of the main reasons why they need your dna that is one of the main reasons why they want you to take the covid 19 test because they got the technology to read your dna and know who you are what you did in a past life and how important you are to the most time right that is why they implemented this old dna testing if they catch a criminal we take his dna because it is there to catch criminals dna is not there to protect you and it is not there to convict criminals dna is there to find out which bloodline you belong to how many times have you lived how many life cycle and what part you will play in bringing down this system, right? Because it's not about the 144,000 alone. It is also about the prophets, the apostles, the healers, and many different people that will be playing their part. But the 144,000 is a group of elite fighters, right? So many of you have been watching videos about people talking about the 144,000 and people making comment that they feel like they're one. Look, you're not. You are not. You don't feel like you're one of the 144,000. It don't work like that. Right? You cannot feel because the 144,000, the majority of them is in the Caribbean. So many of you who live in the United States, England and these very wealthy countries, you need to understand that you will have to leave. Whether you were born there or you come on into the US, Canada, England, wherever, you will have to leave these countries. So you have various YouTube channels speaking about how people leave in going back to the Caribbean and speaking very disparagingly about these people and about the condition of the Caribbean. Once you leave the resort, the poverty, and it goes on and on. And I'm here to inform you and let you know that the 144,000, a majority of them are sleeping giants in the Caribbean, right? And that's it. Whatever dreams you're having or feelings you're having, forget it, right? They were already chosen. And the Most High will wake them up when He chooses to that's how it works right you don't walk around feeling like you're chosen you don't walk around telling people that you are chosen because they have not been woken up as yet but why i'm telling you that this is connected to the missing children is because they're trying to find the bloodlines so therefore they are running through the jamaican children because jamaicans are very very rebellious and that is a trademark right that is a trademark of an elite fighter they are rebellious and they stand in their truth so if you want to know who 
or where these elite fighters coming from the 144,000 notice the group of people who are always going against the grain right notice the group of people who are always fighting so the elite group of 144,000 a majority of them is coming from the Caribbean and the top countries are Jamaica, Haiti, Trinidad and Barbados get over it right you will not see um thousands of um elite fighters woken up in america or canada you will not see it. the few fighters that will be woken up in america and those super superpower countries they will have specific duties they cannot protect you that is why you have to leave you have to leave to go to either Africa or the Caribbean. Because once these 144,000 is finally woken up and given their orders, right? They will have to stick to their orders and they cannot go around protecting you in these countries. The Americas, the Canada, the Australia, they cannot go around protecting you because that is not what they are there for. They are there to help bring the system down. The protectors will be in Africa and the Caribbean. So while you're out there being disrespectful, saying people leaving America for the Caribbean, speaking about how poverty stricken these areas are, you need to understand that you will have to leave America. You will have to get out of Babylon, every single one of you right because the elite fighters cannot protect you that is not their job their job is to bring the system down right so if you need protection you got to move to africa or the caribbean so you might as well get used to that fact because that is what is going to happen right now the only set of people who have any idea that they are something special Right, because they are not fully woken up, are the ones whose parents are high priests. Right? Because you got some women who've given birth to five or six elite fighters. She knows because she understands her spirituality and she was fully awake and she grew her children with a sense of purpose those are the only ones who have an idea and trust me they are not coming on social media discussing it with nobody and they will not be your friend and you won't find them on youtube or anywhere right so just just get over it right if you are not a part of the bloodline you are just not a part of the bloodline right and that is why they have been taking children out of 80 during the the earthquake and that is why they are so much in jamaica right now and the jamaican people don't seem to understand what is going on it is time for them to open their eyes and realize that they are a chosen people and that the power of the most high is within them and it's full time and when you look at the music and the changes right that is going on in jamaica you realize that there's something spiritual going on they are trying to dilute the bloodline they are trying to destroy the bloodline and making sure that they do not wake up and come to power right so that is why i see so much missing children amongst these powerful country and then you have tiny tiny jamaica within that mix that is something else it is time for us to wake up and understand the purpose understand what is happening right we live amongst non-human entities right the 144,000 are an elite group of fighters right selected by the most high himself and they will be given supernatural powers and they will be given their special assignment it is all about bringing down this system so you won't like the decision that the most high makes you will not like it whether you're going around calling him um most high whether you call him yahushua hello whatever you call him whether you're going around with a big old shalom beards and your your beads you need to understand you will not 
get the chance to stay in these countries, right? You will all have to leave. Because when these sleeping elite fighters are fully woken up, they will get their assignment and they cannot protect you. You will have to go where the protection is. And all those who are sitting in America, salvating and wishing and hoping for open um, civil war, for open racial war, do not ask for it. Do not ask for it because once this war starts, your guns will have very little use. And once the Most High start to take his people out of Babylon, pray that you can go with them, right? Because what will be left, I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Because you people, the Bible already tell you, it will be the days of days. There will be no other time like it, right? So do not sit there and wish and hope and pray for a racial war it will not end pretty right what happened in the past it will not repeat right the most i won't allow the bloodshed and the murder to happen to his people what happened in past battles it's a new day it's a new era right new powers understand what we are facing and know your place get out the way stop wanting and wishing for a racial war right and all those humans out there that are kidnapping people's children that are kidnapping people's loved ones you need to cease and desist because it is not going to end well for you and every one of you who are accepting money that curse object right to kill people children to kidnap people children your days are numbered do not let them fool you there's a bigger power on the horizon we need to pray for humanity because things are about to kick off follow the vaccine the vaccine is the mark of the beast as i say glory be to the most high